Hey everyone, thanks for staying back with more ReZero. I'll be watching episode, I think this is 16. But it's a beautiful day to watch ReZero. I took a little break, I'm back. And diving into, I would say, a monumental step for Subaru. He took up a bet with Rosewall, and I'm assuming he's gonna succeed in this bet, given the episode count that is left. But Amelia now has the confidence to undergo the trials. They had that touching, heartwarming, feely conversation between each other, Subaru and Amelia. And I think Amelia is starting to understand the basis of love or the trust that Subaru has in her, even though that love's a foreign word to her still, or it's a, uh, just an unknowing feeling. <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Basically, Subaru loves Amelia, we know. Amelia is understanding the concept of love, and after the kiss that was displayed between them, I think Amelia is more so leaning toward having feelings towards Subaru. That's what I'm gonna say. So anyway, I'm about to dive into today's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe button to join the Rose Guild thing. Without further ado, let's dive into this. Is that Young Gar? It is Young Gar. Some backstory. The temple's no longer lit, so he didn't pass the first trial. He's got the Subaru haircut. Nice. Oh. Now this is, this for you is wearing a black cloak, so it's not Shima. Oh no, that's right. How could I forget? I hope Otto and Ram are okay. Answer the question, Garf. The entrance? I think he's just trying to run away from his problems, run away, run away from his problems and not face them head on, that'd be the most logical thing. So destroy the sanctuary and you get rid of the problem. Stand tall, Amelia. Stand firm. Yes, Amelia. You tell him. Amelia's making progress, everyone. She's learning. Oh, here comes Subaru. Because he, he does know a lot about Garfield and his past. Well, not the specific, but he, he has a general idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Taking Garf, Garf's logic. He's deeply hurt inside. Subaru's about to talk to him and open up this whole new side of Garfield. All these trapped emotions, man. Soundtrack's hitting deep right now. Hitting heavy. Notice that Subaru's gaining the ground, walking forward to him. Garfield's walking back. I don't know if the VA's doing this for Subaru, but he's kind of sounding like uh, Garth's VA with how the dialogue is. She never made it. Oh. Alright, season two takes the cake for, for for the orchestra, the soundtrack. Better than season one. Uh, I thought he was going to. Uh, th th it wasn't enough to convince him. His own convictions, his own answers to everything. It's. He feels the need to protect them, and now they're playing. They're playing the boss music. We're getting it going here. So Subaru and Amelia versus Garf. Subaru standing firm though. What does he have? What do you have up your sleeve, Shamak? <laughs> he's he's charging straight forward. That is gate. Is owed. It's cracked. Oh. 
Is, 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 is this a, a new hidden enemy power-up? Reverting back to his... Was it the handkerchief? How did he know that was going to work? It was Frederica Stone. How did Subaru know that? It was... <laughs> what? I mean, three days, the rabbits are going to take over everything. So it's it's kind of at this point, it's futile. Dang, he took that like a champ. Though, considering what Subaru's face, that's nothing for him, that punch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say, we'll have to go to the dentist after that one. Oh, they're playing the opening. They're playing the opening song. Something epic's gonna happen. Subaru's conviction right here at this moment. Fist fight, yeah. <laughs> Say yes, Amelia. And Rem. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of Betelgeuse's hand! I'm sorry. Where did that come from? The unseen hand. <laughs> did he know about that? I love it. Super has a new power now. It's It was, yeah. <laughs> but uh, payback. <laughs> nice job, Postrash. What a headbutt. That's for earlier. Now they're even. I wonder what if Otto was here. I wonder what he <laughs> Postrash would be saying. This is looking great so far, guys. This outcome. Quaint Stone alone. Title reference. I need to look that up. To I don't know the sim the the saying behind it. The meaning that was extremely well done how Garfield was written that story the unseen hand though him having this power from when he killed battle geese battle geese battle geese if Subaru can somehow obtain and use the full power like battle geese did I just hope he doesn't actually transform into him that'd be insane We've already seen it happen once. Wait, lap pillow? Yeah, lap pillow. This is the the non witch of envy lap pillow though. Oh come on, just <laughs> he had a head bottom soup. There won't be a next time. <laughs> Hopefully that's not foreshadowed. Wow, look at that. He has his own lap pillow. That's crazy. I can only imagine his... Gonna look up and just see Ram, the person whom he loves. Hmm. Same that there's hope or a chance? You perfect loser. <laughs> I know Ram knows that Garf has deep feelings for her too. That's the that's the crazy thing. She's just the way she's spinning the words. I guess he would still have permission to do the trials, right? To confront his past. 
Yeah, the character development for Garf has been... It's been good character development. That's what I think about Rezo. Everyone has really good character development throughout the series. So this is... How much times left? This will probably be... It's a long episode. This is probably going to be all about Garf's backstory now. The face is past. Bears much resemblance to his mom. What was a burden on you? Oh, leaving the children behind. Garf, he's just a kid. He's just baby. He can't do anything. I thought he was actually older when she left. But he was just a wee lad. A toddler. I forgot that Frederica actually go with the mom. But she doesn't. She stayed with Garf. Father back. So Garf's father. Not Frederica's because they have different fathers, but the same mother. Grandmother would not inform us. Grandmother. Back when he did the trial, it's different as he got older. He just never tried again. Because now he's more understanding. That makes total. It's the writing that just really does it. I would say make up with Frederica. Look at that. He's he's much more relieved now. He did it. Goes a long way. Closure goes a long way. That's it's a good step toward Young Gar's journey in ReZero. No, I don't think he'll ever be nice towards Subaru. He'll probably just joke back and forth with each other. <laughs> Stand from the sides. Boss? Anaki? Boss? Wow, I did not expect him to say that towards Subaru. Now he's treating Subaru like he's a, a, a respectful person. I mean, Subaru, yeah. That's probably why he called him boss. Turning 14? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I thought it was 16 or 17 or something like that, but I didn't expect to be that young. The fact that a 14-year-old is bullying Subaru this entire time. Next up, it's Amelia. You can do it, Amelia. I believe in you. Oh, the kiss. <laughs> Finally, you're going to talk about Overlaw. Okay, it's good. I'm glad we're not talking about it right now because they're on a time restraint, so. Yes. 
Not the sparkle smile. Not the sparkle smile. Uh, beating you, beating up Auto Ram. I saw you. Oh, the kiss. No? Part of the kiss. <laughs> Probably because uh, Garf's in the same boat. I'm, I think that he means a kiss. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder how that relationship, that character between Garf and Super are going to be next season of ReZero. Because I'm getting toward the back end of season two now. So there's only so much left. Oh my gosh. Did he drop box all over the walls for motivation and support? That's what Garf meant. Oh. <laughs> Did you call it nincompoop? That word is so outdated. That's what he was doing this entire time. I thought he was digging the hole that Gar fell into, but no, he was doing that in the in the walls of the sanctuary. The showdown. Oh, she's mad about Subaru kissing her. I bet a little bit jealousy, which. Which is daughter? Is she Subaruing right now? So she is a witch. Witch's daughter. Would that make her a witch? This entire time? Is she the witch's daughter? Envy's daughter? Um, where do I begin? Where do I begin, guys? This is Amelia's... I think, actually, I will say this, the, the ReZero successfully succeeds in character development. Obviously, OST is a great touch, but from the little character shifts the VA does, that you can tell as the viewer when they, the character makes some significant shift in their personality or something resolves in there, they, they feel a little bit more lighter or their dialogue is a little bit more different to where you can notice that. I really do appreciate those small details that ReZero does. So yes, I I it's I haven't said it. I don't think my reaction, but I am fully enjoying this series so far, and I'm glad I'm continuing on with season two.